Good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries, g.w.deliver2020 at gmail.com. I pray that all is well. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Aren't you so happy to be in the land of the living? Guys, we got another day to get it right. We got another day to seek God. We got another day to repent. Guys, we are above ground. Um... We have breath in our bodies. We have the activity of our limbs. All because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, woke us up this morning. And I am grateful in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I wanted to come on here and share a dream that I had last night. As early as this morning, last night. Um, and I got up and I began to pray for um, the people of God. So let me just explain. I'm going to tell you the dream and then I'm going to explain what the Holy Spirit gave to me. So in this dream, I was in the church and um, it was three of us. I think it probably was me, my daughter and my cousin. But we were doing praise and worship and a congregation was filled. And we was doing praise and worship. And I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it sounds so angelic, um, our voices when we were doing praise and worship. However, when I looked out into the audience, I, I seen many people like just looking down on their phone, not getting in a service, not worshiping, not doing any of this. So... Me and my cousins like kind of begin to look at each other and like laugh like what what are these people doing like we up here singing and nobody is getting in the service everybody is basically doing their own thing and once we were done they didn't even really know we was done but once we came off of the pulpit and was walking back to our seats, me and my cousins was looking at each other laughing. One lady just looked at me and was like, oh, um, I like these pants that you have on. And I looked at her like, wait, what? What are you talking about? So this morning in my prayer time, the Lord, first of all, gave me this, this, this scripture Satan comes but for to kill, steal, and to destroy. So, a lot of times, people miss the move of God because the Lord said, many of you, many of us are distracted. Satan has sent a distraction, and you may not even know that it's a distraction sent from Satan. Satan because it seems simple. It's very subtle. It, it doesn't seem like it's big, like I'm not hurting nobody type of thing. But the Lord said that many of our gifts are laying dormant because of the distraction that Satan has sent. Because of vain glory that Satan has sent. When I say vainglory, like for instance, when I came off the pulpit, the Lord and the lady was like, oh, I like your pants. She was more focused on and the pants were like simple, like they, they, they were nothing. And I know some of you may say, well, maybe it wasn't nothing to you. No, it just was like little, I don't know, printed collazos or something like that. But the Lord used that because people are focused on vain things and it's it's Satan is stealing the your how can I say it Satan is stealing the information that the Lord is trying to get to you um concerning your um your calling or concerning your gifting of what you supposed to be doing in him Satan has caused a distraction um, in our lives, whether it's through people, places, things, people, words, um, social media, um, keep being on the phone, waking up in the morning, not praying, waking up in the middle of the night, not praying, but 
The first thing that you grab is your phone to see if somebody liked your picture or liked your comment or see what people is talking about or seeing if somebody is talking about you because you had a dispute with a family member or a coworker or something or somebody told you that somebody is talking about you and you want to go on social media and you want to see if there is a subliminal message and Satan has put in your mind that they're talking about you and they're really not. Satan has it has set a distraction in order to steal your destiny. Because if you are distracted, that means you are not focusing on God. And God is trying to cultivate your gifting in the land for a time as such. Some of you even go to church that you are so distracted by your phone. Even when service is going on, you want to scroll through social media. You want to scroll through shopping. You want to just even so much so as when you go to a service, you want to record the service. How are you getting in the service if you're recording what's going on? I'm sorry if the person, unless they're just sick, or in a hospital and can't make it, yes, I can see you setting your phone up, but not to the point that it's gonna cause a distraction for you. The whole church in my dream was doing something other than getting in worship. And the Lord was speaking and nobody heard him because of the distraction Satan has sent. Satan never wants you to hear clear from the Lord. And some of you hear clearly when you're not distracted. Some of you have gotten, um, what, what do I want to say? Some of you have gotten, help me Holy Spirit, clear, precise directions, thank you Holy Spirit, from the Lord on what you should do. You even wrote it down. But in you wrote, writing it down. And feeling motivated. You didn't do it because a distraction came. And you didn't know that the distraction was from Satan. Lying back up. Lying back up with the voice of God. Lying back up with the direction and the instructions that the Holy Spirit has given you for a time as this, whether it's um, a business, whether it's a book, whether it's going back to school, whether it's um, telling somebody something, um, whether it, it, it's, it's an instruction that the Holy Spirit has given you to do and Satan has caused the distraction. Satan comes but for to kill, steal, and to destroy. Steal what? Steal everything that the Lord want you to have. Kill what? Kill your dreams. Kill your spirituality. Kill your walk with God. Satan comes but for to kill, steal, and to destroy. Destroy what? Destroy your hope. Destroy your belief. Destroy your faith. He put imposters in the way to distract you. Some of you guys were right in the midst of meeting your husband or your wife and Satan sent a narcissistic distraction that you didn't pray to ask for discernment. What is this person doing? What do this person want? What is the assignment of this person in my life? God, is this from you? Some of you were so distracted that you didn't even recognize the Lord was saying, that's not me. Guys, we let me tell you something. Satan has upped his game. And guess what? He has taken the minds of the people and it's causing the people to believe their own lies. He, the, Satan is causing people to believe they are hearing from God that it's God 
and it's really him. The Bible says that Satan come as an angel of light. That means that if you don't know God and you don't have a relationship with God, Satan can come to you um, and you think it's God and it's not. Because Satan, I always say this, Satan comes with the truth lie. Let me explain what I mean. When the Lord was in the wilderness and Satan went to the Lord and said, I will give you all of this if you bow down and serve me. And I'm paraphrasing, but it's in the scripture. You could go read it. He petitioned God. He gave God what he gives us. The only deal is God did not yield because he knew it was Satan. And the Lord began to give Satan the word. But Satan said, you can have all of this because all this is mine. And I can give you all of this. Was that a lie? Nope. Look at these celebrities. He promised them the same thing. The problem is a lot of people say, yeah. However, let me just tell you this part. Satan will never give you nothing without you having to pay. What will it cost you? Your soul. So the truth is, oh yeah, I'm going to give you this. But he didn't tell you that you got to sacrifice your soul or a loved one or your own life to have all of this. Satan is causing a big distraction in the land through people, places, things, words, deeds, actions, and gifts. And few people are discerning that it's Satan. You know why? I'm glad you asked. Because it comes subtle. Because the distraction makes you feel like, well, I'm not hurting nobody. Because the distraction can come in a form of a friend that appears to have your back, that appears to be supporting you. And it's really a distraction. And the Holy Spirit is saying, remember in videos past, when I talked about, I used a car as an example. When the indicator light comes on, that means something is wrong. The Holy Spirit is our indicator light. When that red flashing light come on, we need to go to the mechanic, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, to see, Lord, what are you saying? What is wrong with this? How should I move? What need to be done? What do I need to renounce? What do I need to repent from? It is so important that you don't keep being distracted and fooled by the same thing that Satan used before, but used just a different person, place, thing, word, deed or action but it's the same tactic guys I seen it plain in the dream distracted some of you have a gift that the Lord himself personally gave you that Satan don't want to come and don't want to come into fruition because it would do damage to the kingdom of hell. No longer allow Satan to distract you. Some of you are great writers. 
Some of you are great prophets, but because you are under a false teaching and you're telling your pastor of the dreams and the visions that the Lord is giving you, and because your pastor does not have that gift and don't want you to operate in that gift, he shuts you down or she shuts you down. And it causes you to doubt yourself instead of you seeking God. The Bible says to mark the perfect man. The only perfect man that we can mark is Jesus Christ. <laughs> we should not want to be like nobody on this earth except for Jesus Christ in heaven. He will never lead you wrong. He is the great cultivator. He will give you insight and strategic instructions on what you should do. I'm telling you guys, I seen it plain. People in the, and guess what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. He could have showed me people of the world. But he showed me the body of Christ because we was in a sanctuary. How the body of Christ, the Lord's people are distracted. He showed me. So they're missing the move of God. They're missing the voice of God. They're missing instructions on what he's telling his people because they're distraction, distracted. Satan has sent a distraction. And because anything that you spend more time on than you do with God is an idol and a distraction. Let me start with myself. Let me talk about me. Tammy, anything that I spend time with more than I spend time with getting to know God is an idol in my life and a distraction. There, see, I don't got to talk about you. I could talk about me because I want better. I don't want to be distracted. For some of you, Satan has sent distractions in your life via relationships via jobs, whatever. He has sent distractions that you are so worn out, so tired that you can't do nothing but sleep because of the distraction. Guys, I'm here to tell you that the Lord wants you to not be distracted, focus on him so you can hear him clearly because there is some things that he's telling you. There are some things that he's showing you. There are some business ideas that he's showing you. There is some book um, um, writers that he's showing you what book to write and the words to put in your book to save somebody and to redeem somebody back to him. Because uh, I've learned this. When it's an assignment of God, lives are changed. Let me say this again. If it's an assignment from God, lives are changed. How do you know it's not an assignment from God? Because when you go there, nobody is set free and delivered. Everybody is just walking out the same. God don't work like that. When God shows up, he shows up. With vengeance, healing, either wrath, deliverance. He's showing up with something. You cannot call it a, an assignment if lives are not changed. Guys, the Lord love us. Please, please heed to the voice of the Lord. Try the spirit by the word of God. Go to God and seek and see if I am a servant of God. Did he send me? You don't have to take my word. You don't. Pray. As long as you're praying, if you're asking God, is, is this woman of God a real woman of God? That means 
you're praying. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to go to him. But I'm telling you, guys, another thing, pay attention to your dreams. I keep saying this. God is showing you things in your dreams. God is revealing tactics of the enemy in your dreams. And some of you just think it's a nightmare. And the Lord, because some of you prayed and asked God, Lord, why am I being attacked? And the Lord showed you in the dream why. You need to seek him for interpretation of the dream. See how everything just go back to God? Everything that we do leads back to him. We cannot do nothing without him. The Bible says we live, we move, and we have our very being because of him. We cannot do nothing without him. I don't know what else to tell you. We can't. The source is always to lead people to Christ. I never want to lead you to me. I have nothing to give you. Nothing. I don't I don't have nothing. I, everything that I have is because of the Lord. I have nothing to give you. My assignment is to lead you always back to Christ. People want a quick word. People want a quick prophecy. And yes, the Lord will send people to come and to prophesy to you. Yes, he will. But guess what? You could go to the ultimate prophet. God, is this you? I do it all the time. God, is this you? God, what this mean? This is how I could come on here and give you revelation of the things that God tell me. It has nothing to do with me. Tammy know nothing. I know nothing without Christ. I know nothing. I am nothing without Christ. I'm nothing. I'm absolutely nothing without him. And you know what the catch is to that? I don't ever want to be without him. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him in all all of your ways acknowledge him and I promise you he will direct your path trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him he will direct your path you know what the root cause of anxiety why people have anxiety it's because of losing control you're not in control. So how are we going to try to control? Do you know what it, a burden that is lifted that we don't have to know? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. You don't got to understand it. But in all your ways, acknowledge him so he could direct your path. God, I don't know. Show me. As I go, God, I will do it. I don't have to understand why you told me to do this. God, but I trust you that you're going to lead me. And I will understand it better by and by. But God, even if it's not recent, you don't reveal it to me. I know you will. Because he said he reveals the mystery to his prophets. Guys. The Lord love you so much, so much. Some of you got some great things, great things coming your way. Some of you got some promises that will not return to the Lord void. If he said it, it would accomplish where he sent it in your life. Line up, line up. If you don't know how to line up, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. God, I don't know which way to go, but I heard Minister Tammy say to trust you that you got my back and you got some good things to for me. God, if I'm out of line, God, I need you to put me in line. But God, I don't know what you putting me in line looks like, but God, I trust you my god the 
that's all I have to say today, guys. Remember, today is a good day, October 13th, 2023, to have a great day. You who are watching this are in the land of, of the living. More grace, more mercy. The Lord told me a couple of weeks ago, I think, forgive me, um, but he said extended grace for my, my people. Extended grace for you. Extended grace for you. What does that mean? That mean when Satan wanted to take you out, when a death angel was supposed to come and get you, the Lord said extended grace. Extended grace for you. Write that book. Write the vision. Make it plain. And congratulations to you guys who um, are getting ready to walk in your new or who's already walking in your new. You're just waiting for the manifestation. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries, g.w.deliver2020 at gmail.com. Please comment, like, and share the video with someone that you know needs to be encouraged. Guys, we're in this thing together. We're in this thing together. We all need encouragement. We all need encouragement. Keep your hand in God's hand. I'm telling you, because he's never going to let your hand go. We let his hand go, but he's never going to let your hand go. I love you. Have a great day.